I'm back because, well, I'm back. I'm returning to work in the early afternoon because, as you've seen in a couple of other videos, we have a javali or wild pig or wild boar that has been visiting the boys' pasture every night for hmm, four or five nights. I can't figure out how it's getting in. There's evidence, easy evidence, lots of evidence, that he's in the upper pastures, no, not in the upper pastures, sorry, zero, which is up there. And it's very common for them to come down through other um, gardens and pastures that are abandoned. He's been, he or she or they have been um, playing in my irrigation canals. So my theory is that he's coming or she is coming or it's coming through here. That's my theory because upstairs, or in zero, we um, can easily track the path because the grass is tall and you can see the crushed grass as it moves through the pasture and digs stuff up, destroys grassland, and moves on. Here, I'm beginning to think that it's a bath, or a, yeah, bath for the, for the animal. So I'm here to, I don't know, it's a guess that he's coming through here, or it's coming through here, or she's coming through here. <laughs> Sorry, covering all the bases here. Um, so I'm going to block it with some wire. See you on the other side. <laughs> of course, where I need to work is, um, has some stinging nettle. Good thing I brought my gloves. I'll have to pull it out. So my theory, because I can't find any um, crushed grass or pathways through tall ortigas or, or stinging nettle, that he or she or it is coming through a place where they would leave no marks. Only the marks in the um, canal system where it seems to dig and bathe and change the direction of my water down here. So, if it is indeed coming through here, there would be really very little place for me to see there's no, no evidence of its movements. And it plays here. Sorry, here. It plays all along here. Under the tree. And I imagine it's spooking the boys because they are less reluctant to go down and eat the taller grasses down the slope of the mountain. Unless I'm here, then they come. So, okay, uh, I'm going to pull out some stinging nettle and uh, attach some wire. Wish me luck. Okay, not a great job. I found some barbed wire which I'm hesitant to use because these boys tend to scratch their noses on things. So I might take the barbed wire off. I think maybe I'll take the barbed wire off and put it back on uh, this evening when I come back. I don't know. I'm going to sit with it a while. I sat with it and I took off the barbed wire. And what I did is took a, a stick, a branch, uh, from a fruit tree, a guindo, that is a hardwood, and wedged it in underneath these rocks. There you go. And used it 
as a extra barrier because I was concerned that the pig would just put its head underneath the wire and lift it up and go underneath. That was why I thought my work was um, poor. And it was poor. It is poor. But it's a start. Now this is more secure. Let's see if we can uh, operate the door without tripping over it. That'll be the next issue. Uh, otherwise I have to think about uh, being more uh, let's say more intelligent about my placement of the wire because that's just going to put his head underneath and lift it up so I have to figure out how to prevent it from doing that short of putting up a board which is what Elena suggested okay I'm satisfied for the moment